Right. So welcome everyone to Artist Prayer. Um, I have, there's a handout that I gave everyone and emailed those on Zoom. Um, so there's kind of two ways you can get at Artist Prayer. So one um, is meditating on art, kind of a meditating okay as a starting point for prayer and creating art as an expression of prayer so what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay two ways meditating on the art or creating the art there we go <laughs> sorry this sentence was weird um so some ways they're opposite but they both use visual means to engage in and nurture in prayer and reflection and meditation. So art has a long history in the church, uh, paintings, tapestries, sculptures, stained glass, uh, other images and icons were one of the first ways that people interacted with uh, scripture and, and stories of the Bible. Um, it wasn't until 1450s, Gutenberg, printing press, so the Bible became accessible, but, you know, people weren't literate. Just want to keep those over there. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then people weren't even literate, so, it's, you know, people weren't even reading. They were still looking, you know, these visual means um, to engage with the scripture. So for thousands of years, it was just oral and visual means um, to understand the, the stories of the Bible. Um, but as a result of that, there's just this wealth of art and other means of, of like ways to tell our, so our faith stories. And so we can draw inspiration from that in various ways. So similar to contemplative prayer, prayer through this method, um, focus, focuses on a word. Um, you can see the Visio Divina. So similar to Lexio Divina, um, but Visio Divina means divine seeing, and it invites one to encounter the divine through images. So you use a piece of art kind of as your focal point, and it can be an individual or a group, and sometimes scripture is paired with it as well. We'll see kind of one of those. Um, but here's the, the five steps. So I'm gonna go over all the methods and then we're gonna have like, whatever time we have left, 20 minutes or so to kind of do your own, whatever method you feel led to do. And then we're gonna come back and maybe share a little bit and then that'll, that'll be our lesson today. So the first method, Visio Divina, um, you have your five steps preparation and clearing your mind, looking at the image, meditation, contemplation, and prayer. So kind of outlines it for you here. Pick out an image, look at the image and let your eyes stay with it. With the very first thing you see, keep your attention, try to keep your eyes from wandering, breathe deeply, gaze at the picture, and then look at the whole image, take time, look at every part of it. Um, and then there's some emotions to consider, and then kind of a final prayer. This is on the back page, by the way. I was looking for it. This is the front. This is the first page. Where, so where are those five steps? Right. The top, okay. the top. Oh, and they're also here. That's the doodle one. Oh, the doodle one. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got it. Yeah, we'll get yeah. there. So... And then there's at the bottom of the page, there's the, you know, ways to, I wanted to kind of make that for everything. So any ways to participate, um, being open to God, being aware that God is waiting for you, working slowly, don't rush. So you can read over those. Um, and um, so I did give you guys some art to look at uh, on, on the second page. So there's, I have John the Baptist here in the upper left. Um, he has some scripture around him. So you can contemplate on that if you want to. This is um, Pentocrator. This is what this one's called. 
at uh, St. Catherine's Monastery. So on the Jesus's right is like his like divine side. And then the left side, you can see it's a little like earthly and kind of fading away. So he's like his dual natures. Um, and then at the bottom, I put a piece of Ethiopian art, um, Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Mm -hmm. And then on the next page, I gave you guys a lot of options. Um, this is the artist Hei Chi. We've interacted with his work before. Um, I think this one's called Risen, Rising, Rising Christ, Rising Lord. So it's the uh, Christ after after rose from the dead. And then um, some of my favorite imagery in the Bible is the fish and the loaves. So I put that one in there too. But if you have something else, you know, let's see. your phone, whatever, you know, you want to focus on something else, but that's quite all right too. Can we hold these up so no, no, I I emailed it to them. Oh, you did. Yeah, okay. yeah, they're they're good. At least I hope so. <laughs> um, and then I gave you guys also some coloring pages if you wanted to kind of prayers. It's coloring that kind of art. Um, so this one's rejoice in the Lord, and then just kind of a a mandala of sorts that I found. Um. So that's the first way, the meditation way. And then a second way is uh, an intentional activity where you're creating art. Um, you're directing your heart and your mind to have a conversation through God. So, you know, you might kind of pick a theme, love, joy, peace, any of the fruits of the spirit, really. Um, and then pray by painting, coloring, journaling, and then ending on the end by reflecting on the time that, that you took to do this. So... On the back, I put the the doodle steps, which are very similar, obviously, to the Visio Divina, but um, there were some examples online that I didn't put in here, but, um, you know, you could write somebody's name and then whatever you're thinking about them or kind of around it and, and doodle. And you guys know how to doodle. It's really... <laughs> uh, and so I gave a little space here for any, any journaling, you know, you could just write if you wanted to, you don't, you don't actually have to do art in that sense. Um, or drawing, composing, yeah, whatever verb you wanna use for creating your own art. Um, and I thought I'd have more pages, but uh, that's all the space you got, I'm sorry. <laughs> So we're at 920. All right, any questions? These are great candidates. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll give us about... 20 minutes I'm back at 9 40 so okay
aussi.
Okay, I gave you guys a little bit extra time. Hope that was enough. <laughs> you can, I mean, feel free to keep coloring. Um, does anyone want to share about their experience, their art? Mike, you look right at me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> No, I will share. <laughs> Let me begin by saying there's only one thing I do worse than draw, and that's sing. Mm. <laughs> the class where I had to sing, I thought it was me too. <laughs> but I put down through this is very rudimentary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is God? God is love. Mm -hmm. If God isn't love, then what is the point? That's what I look to God for. Mm -hmm. What is most important to me? Family. A good, wonderful wife. And the most amazing thing to me, I have 25 descendants. I would never have thought I would be blessed so much. I haven't drawn them all in. <laughs> Take some time. <laughs> this represents Jesus, though not very much. And I have my, what you would call, default prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. And I use that quite often. It's not necessarily, in fact, it's, not, it's seldom a prayer for forgiveness. Or something I've done, it's I feel I, I don't deal in specifics mm -hmm. so much when I pray. I know the Lord knows my situation, what I need, what my problem is. I'm asking for help, and it's a prayer for, as I said, not necessarily for forgiveness, but for for fortitude face ordeals I have to face for peace of mind in getting through problems and peace of mind and just making the day more pleasant. It's the prayer I resort to because I'm sure the Lord knows what I need and yeah. what my problem is. It's a good one. <laughs> good prayer to choose. Thank you. I um I can share my art. I tried to recreate the mosaic. Mm -hmm. So, but I only had my I mean, I just wanted to kind of limit my materials. So I just did the trying to do the squares and color in some of them. So uh still working on a fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um I feel like it really slowed me down, like having to instead of just drawing it, but like having to make each square. Mm -hmm. Um uh, slowed me down and kind of reset me so yeah i'd like to draw draw other art <laughs> anybody else those that colored did you did you have anything you thought while you did it any experiences anything to share after your experience hmm. Well, I wasn't yep. here at the beginning, but it appears that the artwork you have is extremely old. Um, the one thing you notice right away, well, the Jesus you see on, I assume it's the Jesus you see on the first page. Um, I assume the others are, like their eyes are white open. Everybody's eyes are looking this way mm -hmm. and that way. So it's the thing that we try to make. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, there's a cutting project involved here. You could you could choose your own art to do. So if you wanted to look at art, that was one thing. If you wanted to color art. Mariana? Well, I, I was uh, impressed with the diversity 
And um, I chose the, the colorful mm -hmm. one. And I thought that uh, this is Jesus mm -hmm. and this, as the cross, but I uh, um, noticed that the men all have kind of cute, cute fingers. Mm -hmm. And then down in the lower right hand corner, or the left hand corner, the women have more lifelike um, mm -hmm. fingers. Uh, yeah. And so, but I, I, it looked to me like the face of the Christ image was a woman's face. Mm -hmm. And so I was interested in. But the uh, hands. Yeah, the hands are very masculine. <laughs> and the face is, to me, a universal symbol mm -hmm. of uh, femininity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I liked that. And then I, then my mind went to um, how long in humankind we left our story in art mm -hmm. and wars come and go, but art survives. Mm -hmm. And so is poetry and music. Mm -hmm. And um, it looked to me like this kind of went around the clock with the betrayal up in the upper right hand corner and then mm -hmm. looking to God um, in uh, wonder and, and um, um, grief. And then the, down here in the lower right hand corner, there's this guy that looks like a patrol guard. <laughs> and like, I thought that was wonderful. I like, stop. Mm -hmm. And um, then I found the quiet. Mm -hmm. And um, I chose not to um, write anything because I, I've been sewing a lot recently. And I was thinking how we sometimes leave our mark uh, as the artist mm -hmm. and end up with something we draw or say, but something we give in that um, pushing ourselves beyond what we knew we could do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you doodle. Did you want to share? Um, I too really love this, was really attracted to this one. Mm -hmm. And it seemed to me to be just an image of universal welcome, that that thing mm -hmm. that we're using it for our anniversary about sharing Christ's yes. welcome. Mm -hmm. And it just seemed to extend in all different directions. So then I started drawing and put Holy One in the middle. And it was interesting that my hand seemed to know what I wanted to do before I knew what I wanted to do mm -hmm. so it was just very relaxing yeah um yeah so it turned out it to me it looks like a flower now mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> or it also looks like to me uh, the sand paintings that I was really intrigued with as I was tra traveling through the southwest so um nice experience julie thank yeah, you yeah yeah and this artist is still alive the hey chi so you can buy where they he lives in california you can buy work directly from his website <laughs> how do you spell his name h-e -H is, is the first name and then q-i is the last i name. never have heard of this person yeah we use his artwork a lot in in church and stuff but yeah uh, he lives in california okay. he's still alive but is, is he Japanese Chinese American Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, I just couldn't tell. Yeah. Him. Yeah. It's so interesting. So universal. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 There's so many. He, he loves yeah. using vibrant colors. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you just go to his website, you can see every like all his works. All right. Like I'm gonna have to look yeah. it up. Yeah. Just <laughs> support his work as an artist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine too. That was yeah. the one that really struck me and and you know beyond all the things that people have said um, is it that it brought up I had to just search for it because mm -hmm. it's hard to memorize but Galatians 3 mm -hmm. which is kind of goes along the lines of Christ in Christ there is no east no west mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. no gentile no male no female yeah um, and there's just so much here so it's it's it's, mm -hmm. it's spare and rich at the same time mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's well, I, I thought that all of the figures um, 
either androgynous or clearly <laughs> meant to to um, mm -hmm. give the idea of of being female. Um, and there's this kind of a sense of peace and humor that comes from it, even though some of the people look um, distressed. And we have, you know, the the plotters, and you have to rise in your corner and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. but, but there, there's a kind of sense of peace and um, peaceful humor that comes through it all, as well as the love and the all encompassing. Mm -hmm. Is this is this the the meant to be the common and the bird? I think so. Yeah, I think this is the rising lord. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it, but um, yeah. So it it's all the things. So it was the you know the betrayal, and then you know, he he's rising, but. He's also on earth eating. They've got the fishnet in the corner. So he's eating and then the women there. The uh, I think they have the, the joke, like the woman at the well. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're taking the spices to Oh, the dirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more that than the water trip. Yeah. I had a hard time choosing which H E uh art to use. <laughs> so I'm glad you all resonated with this one. Yes. Hmm. Anyone else? What caught my eye was in the foot washing one, how it looks like they're all giving Jesus side eye and yeah, <laughs> and that's very consistent with the story because they were all very like, "What on earth are you doing? Why are you doing this?" Right. I think that's just the feature of the Ethiopian iconography. Yeah, I know, I know, but okay. it still it gives yeah. me that yeah. impression. I yeah. I know Same that thing. that's not necessarily yeah. what the artist was thinking, but it's what it's saying to yes. me. No, no, I and, I understand. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And so that got me thinking about um, appearance versus doing the helpful thing, like mm -hmm. where people will sometimes want to refrain from doing something because it would look funny or mm -hmm. look bad. And the, you know, we don't, we shouldn't be prioritizing appearance over doing the right thing. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it does look like they're looking at him and saying, what's he what? up to now? Exactly. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. 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 And confusion and consternation. That's too, except for the person who's actually having his foot wash. <laughs> and they're all incredibly cute, too. I mean, they're <laughs> cute little pictures. <laughs> Mine exploded just like Mary Jane. <laughs> There's a lot of encompassing, but I'll cut it short. I ended up first writing the word sustain. I kept going and um, kind of mixing that in was harmony and creator. Mm -hmm. First, it was printed. Okay. And then, for some reason, uh, looking at the other arts, I was just start connecting the printed letters, and it turned out to be essentially cursory writing. So I was saying, what a shame it is that they're, they're not really teaching that in school, because each letter of the word had a meaning to create that word, to give it a meaning that we could communicate with. Um, <laughs> Are you going to show us? Oh, no, you not, not really. You can't see it because I'm just a shadow, so you won't be able to see it. I'm sorry. We we could see it. We could. <laughs> so, just think. Well, just think of <laughs> most most of us here can still handwrite and read other people's. Yeah, yeah. And I was just thinking that each letter, again, like I said, it as as we are individually, we have some meaning. And then it created a word. And then there was the word of God. So it was reflecting back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up creating that uh, that yin yang thing that like on that Korean flag. Mm -hmm. And I can't draw that. <laughs> not not from just memory. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting something like that. And it ended up 
looking like a big donut kind of thing, loaf of bread that's being kneeled, and you know how you fold it. So it's like the bread. Again, I ended up being back to that first word, sustain. Well, you know, thank, <laughs> thanks, Julie. I never really did anything like this. So yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of was, yeah, it sent me on a trip. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good to explore new ways to interact. Yeah, with <laughs> yeah. again, <laughs> another faith and her faith stories. So, okay. all right. There was more to it some other time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's definitely more. I could have kept. I let you guys go longer, so we could have kept going probably for a while. Um, you want to close us? Holy One, be near. Be near to us as we come together and worship you. Be near to those who are hurting. Be near to those who are mourning. Be near to those who need rest, sustenance, guidance. Holy One, be near. Thank you for your creativity. Thank you for your openness. Thank you for who you are and what you've done and what you will do. Thank you for your spirit, the one that guides us, helps us, molds us, petitions on our behalf. All of these things we pray. Thank you so much. Yeah.